Hi everyone, I'm Rob Horlacher from Project Sandbox, a University of Lethbridge Library initiative. Today we are going to be looking at the first video from a series of videos describing how to print at the University of Lethbridge. So the first thing to know about printing at the University of Lethbridge Library is that you can print from any of our computers. This includes our OPACs, our distributed stations, our laptops, our multimedia computers, and the computers in L950. So although you can print from any computer at the University of Lethbridge Library, you don't actually have the ability to print from any piece of software. Um, the only software you can print from is stuff that is either Windows based um, things that are cross-compatible between Mac and PC environments, such as like Microsoft Office or the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, things that you can't print from are things that are entirely Mac-based. These are pieces of software such as Keynote, um, Numbers, or Pages. So now that you know the pieces of software you can print from and the computers you can print from, the next thing to know is where to actually find the printers at the University of Lethbridge Library. Uh, so, printers are actually located in four separate spots within our library. Going from the top down, the first one you can find is just outside of the Kerr Lab. Um, the printer there is a color printer, and it has the ability to also photocopy your documents and scan your documents. Moving down a floor, uh, you can go to level 10 south. Um, that's the one that's farthest from the service desk. Uh, that one, you only actually have the ability to print it in black and white documents. On the other side of the building, level 10 north, you have the ability to print off black and white documents. Uh, you also have the ability to photocopy and scan at that printer. Um, within that area, there is also a coin-operated printer that you can use as well. Um, and then finally, on level 9 of our library, you will also find a color printer that you can use. And at this color printer, you also have the ability to photocopy and scan. If you're not at the library and you're still wanting to print, there are also other locations in the university that you can print from. Um, in the description of this video, you'll find a link to a web page that will give a list of different places you can print from. So, once you've found your printer, the next thing to know is how much it actually costs to print off your documents. Um, these numbers can change from year to year, and I want this video to last as long as possible. So, instead of rattling those things off to you, I'm just going to sit here for a moment and I'll have them run over the screen for you to look at. Okay, now that all the prices have had a chance and all the sizes have had a chance to go across the screen, let me just remind you of a couple things. Um, so whenever you're printing off at the printers, the printers do default to print to double-sided um, and black and white. So if that's not what you want, make sure you change that in your printer settings in whatever piece of software you're using before you send it off to the printer. Um, the other thing to mention is that if you do want it to be in color, um, but you send it off to a black and white printer, it'll still charge you for the color price. Um, and color prints are more than black and white ones. Finally, uh, the last thing to know is if you want to print off a size that isn't available at our printers around the library, all you have to do, do is go to the printing services uh, building and they'll be able to help you out with printing off numerous sizes. So, now that you know how much it costs to actually print at the University of Lethbridge, your next thought might be, how do I get money to print? So there's a couple different ways that you can actually have money to print off whatever documents you might be wanting to print. Um, the first way is to go to our Bridgebox machines. Um, if you have a U of L ID, you can load money onto those. 
Um, those machines do only take bills, so if you have a bunch of change, you actually have the ability to go to our service desk and we will give you bills in exchange for the equivalent amount of coin. If you're not a U of L member, you can also just purchase just generic bridge bucks cards at that machine to print from. Finally, if you are a student or something like that at the University of Lethbridge, you do also have the ability to go to the My Card Manager site. The one thing with that though is you do have to do a minimum of a $10 deposit to put any money onto your card. Um, but that's how you will have to load your cards in order to print here. The final thing to know is if you're still having problems after watching this video, there's a couple places you can go to for help. Um, the first one is you can rewatch all of the videos in this printing series and get more familiar with actually how to do things. Um, secondly, there is a phone next to every printer. If you pick up that phone, it'll automatically go to printing services and you can ask them for whatever help you might need. Um, finally, if you don't want to talk on the phone and you don't want to watch a video again, you can go to the service desk at the library and we can try and troubleshoot whatever problems you might be having. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I would like to thank printing services for looking over the content of all of these videos and letting me know that all of the information is still accurate. I would also like to remind everyone if anybody wants to keep up to date with video tutorials that the library is releasing, you can subscribe to our channel. Um, and if you would like to watch the next two videos in this series, you can see links to them right here and right here. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope this helped.